Hello everybody, welcome to another MSI review. This time it will be the American release Ground GM. Uh, pretty much the accessories is a missile launcher. One of the shields, either yeah, pretty much if you want, the most common one is six, but you can also get an eight. Machine gun with a peach ammo pack, two beam sabers, peach hilt, and a light gray beam rifle. Still a little detailed, but with a lighter color. Okay, pretty much this is like the GM Custom, just different color scheme. Still the de uh, pretty detailed Gundam. Same articulation as the GM Sniper. And this one, I will show you how to put him together, uh, including his articulation, the thighs, arm and ball joint, <laughs> legs. Single joint, feet are in a ball joint. Do same for the other side. arms on a ball joint hands in a single joint other side oops and heads on the ball joint. Arms can have a free rotation. Can go that f much forward and that far backward. Shoulder lobs to come off. Swivel to the rockets and boosters. Head a full rotation. Legs that far forward and that far backward. Swivel on the feet, and that is pretty much all. Shoulders. Ammo clip can be attached to the side. I hate the shoulders for the GM, they are so annoying. But that is the GM. Uh, the Type 61 tank, you can only get this in the GM uh, bundle pack with it, or deluxe pack. I wonder, was it, was it deluxe? I'm not, I don't remember. It came with this, so probably was. But, it comes with the famous Type 61 tank. Type 61 tank has enough actually is equal power to the Zaku Bazooka and is two barrel rotation three uh, three sixty machine gun can only go that far side to side since the antennas are in the way and that is it pretty cool detailed little figure but they did not make it roll. It's one plastic, I mean, molded in. I got two shield, 
1618. The most wanted one is number 8. Since because the GMs are mostly shown in the 8th MS team. And it's cool having a, um, a GM with a number 8 shield on the team. Alright. But number 6 is mostly common, I've seen. You can place it in either hand on the peg. And that is it. Here is the missile pod. Little detail of the figure. Needs some color but has some good, but has some good detail on it. Machine gun. Pull this little thing backwards. And it can hold it on one hand. I should really glue this in. But there, you can hold it in two hands with the little handle. The beam rifle. Here it goes. Oh, I didn't notice. The shoulder fell again. And the bean saver. Okay, for pretty much the GM's a good decent figure. Uh, if you can't find the GM custom, I suggest you get the GM Ground Gundam, normal color. Easier to find, a cheaper price. Probably goes up to 10, 12 bucks, easy. It's a pretty good lasting figure. Doesn't break easily. Parts are easy to find for it. And it's pretty cool. It's a mass production mobile suit and it's pretty fun. If you want have you want if you want to have a uh, mobile suit that likes to blow up or you want to blow up something, the GM's the perfect mobile suit. You know what they say. Um, GMs are only perfect for being blown up. Hmm, where did I hear that from? Hmm. For the GMs, I po I, mean, I pose it with um the shield. Still thing right here is um I put some super glue here, make it little make this little peg a little thicker so you can slide into a little hole right there. See? I like how the sh uh, it held the shield from um, MS Igloo, so I pretty much just copied it. And since I had a lot of spare GM and spare Gundam shields, I just did this. So what would you rather have in a battle? This or this? Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Hefty, hefty, hefty. And there goes the Wimpy. Alright guys, um, I do recommend this figure. It's pretty good. It's a pretty fun figure. And has some decent articulation and it stays together. If you're able to find a ground GM, 
get it because it's so worth the money since uh, these guys are getting rare mm, so yeah I hope you guys like this uh, review and see you in the next one